All right, so this is a an update on my hobby shed. Um, as you can see, I've gone against having a window. Um, also, I've taken the galvanized sides out. So, you know, bit of a big change, but you know, it's going to be a bit, little bit more cozier. It's going to be, you won't be able to fit as many people in, but you know, I think it's going to work. I have a new roof on it, kind of. So hopefully it will work and I can get electricity out here, get some lights going. My contractor here recommended it. And you can hear my workers in the background. Okay, so a bit of a change since the start of the video there. Uh, after talking to one of my investors, this guy, we've decided to change the hobby shed. Uh, we've gone for a more plastic approach. Um, we have a window back, which is always good. Uh, we have a door on this one, so you know it's always nice to have a door. And um, you know it's a lot more roomier. Daddy. Yeah. Yeah, we got a clock and everything. Uh, as you can see, we have like some chairs so I can fit some more people in here. Is this the new shade? Yeah. Yeah. Like not only do we have this window. Yeah, this one, we have one back there, so I think this is the hobby shed for me. Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here, how is all today? So a hobby shed update today, um, I think the last update I did, uh, none of this was painted, the, the ceiling here isn't painted. But as you can see, there's a very, very strong red color coming off here. Uh, that's the wood protector I put on the inside. Now, it's a bit too red. It's very dark in here as well. It's not sunny out. So, you know, it's very hard to kind of see it properly. But the red is very dark. It's not as decent as I thought it was. This is only one coat. Like, I have put two coats of whatever color I put on it but it's very streaky but it's too dark so what I'm going to do today is I got this new colour it's um where is it so you can see the harvest gold I only opened this a few minutes ago and it's it's pretty bright so hopefully I can get and hopefully this one will work out it kinda looks like baby poo brown but hopefully it'll look nice up on the wall. So uh, yeah, stay tuned and I get this all done today, hopefully. All right. So I have the first coat on, which is, <laughs> it's looking a bit disastrous. Now I understand why my dad says, wait till I'm with you to do stuff. Because it's just a, a weird mixture of yellow and red. Up here is not too bad, um, because it's just pure wood, there's nothing over it. But down here, it's like a weird mesh of a sunset color. But it's only the first coat. Uh, you know, even when you're painting models, when you're putting base coats on, when you're putting um, your first couple of colors over, your first few layers, it looks terrible. It looks horrible. But I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now, because I've been out here for nearly two hours, I'm surprised I went through this much stuff all around. I call it paint, but... I don't know what the actual name for this, but that's near enough pushing halfway. I didn't think I'd go through that much because this stuff was really good. It lasts so long. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave the door open. I'm going to leave the window open. I'm going to get some lunch for about half an hour to an hour just to give it time to dry. Uh, up here it might take a bit longer to dry, but like here it's starting to dry already. There were just parts I just wiped off so the one. Like you see little kind of blotches like that, so I just brush them over. So hopefully it won't take too long to dry. Um, if it needs a third coat, I probably will have to do a third coat or whatever's left in the bucket. Because this stuff is like it's on offer now for like six fifty a bucket, which is really good. So I can always get another one pretty handy anyway. I think it's gonna be a lot nicer than the red. It already looks a little bit brighter, but it really looks weird. So and there's a weird echo in here as well because there's nothing in here. I had to take everything out to make sure I don't get it all covered in paint. 
I'm gonna get out here in the brightness. There you go. The lovely sun. Bit of sun that we finally have in our room. So uh, yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you shortly. All right. So this is the next day. Um, I had to leave it overnight to dry fully. I left the window open. Um, and it looks ten times better than I thought it would. You probably can't see it on the camera, which is a bit disappointing. But instead of having a real darkish red, it's a little bit brighter with this golden brown color. It really is. Now it's a lot brighter on the ceiling because there's no red undercoat. But like most of the streaks are gone. Um, there's a few up there, but it's fine. Um, so I think it's looking a hell of a lot nicer. That's two coats, well, three coats technically, but two of the golden yellow on, or the golden brown. Um, as you can see, I had to get a contractor in here to help me finish the building. Martin, say hello. <laughs> so um, yeah, and this is hopefully the color shows up on this. I know it looks very red on the screen here, but it's a much more kind of a goldeny brown color, which I'm really happy with. I think I might just go over the ceiling a bit more. There's a few patches here that didn't quite come through here as well. Um, to be honest, like I went through so much in the bucket, I thought I might not even use half of it, but I suppose it is two coats, like. So uh, yeah, it's looking pretty nice now. Hopefully I can get the wire in soon. It's just getting the wire and then getting my father-in-law to come in and to do it. And that's it then, just start decorating and hopefully I get out here pretty soon. All the stuff will be on, all the tools, the bench, all this will be tidied up and everything. So um, oh, and I have to do the floors. I want to do the floor red just to keep it that dark reddish. And then there'll be on mats over that as well. So yeah, coming together now, definitely looking good, really starting to take shape. I think I have to put this contractor back to work. Hey, you want to go to work? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, let me know what you guys think. Um, it's really coming together now, hopefully I can get the last few bits done within the next month maybe, if I can get the wire and all that. Then I'm gonna, I think I just think I talking about either getting a desk or building one. I think it's, I'm pretty sure I'm building a desk now around here. What? What? Is this my shed? Oh, Martin shed? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. What? Hey, say goodbye. Bye. Say goodbye. Say bye. Bye. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys next one.